If you are a Backfrap user for some time, you probably know about our commitment to make our products better, faster and easier to use. And today I'm really excited to show you a few new features we have been working on for Backfrap containers. And by the way, if you appreciate our effort in bringing such features for you always for free, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll never miss out on new features. Today I want to show you the new metrics panel that groups together multiple metrics about your container, making it easier to identify usage and possible problems. To do that, I'm going to expand this app I have over here. And here you can see the short versions of the metrics showing CPU and RAM usage, but a more detailed view is available with more metrics in the new metrics section on the left. When you expand that session, we will firstly see the CPU usage of your container in a percent scale. So from 0 to 100%, you will know how much CPU that container is actually using, and this reflects multiple CPUs all together in just one chart. All these metrics are in a per de de deployment display, so you can have the same chart, multiple representations, each one for one specific deployment making it easy to identify if a specific deployment started using more resources than a previous one. In my case, I only have one deployment, so I have just one uh, chart, but if you have multiple ones, a list will show up here and you can compare on the chart which one is using more resources. So, RAM reflects the RAM usage in a quantitative representation, so you know from this axis how much RAM you have available and how much you are using. Processes show the number of the processes or PIDs that are running in your container at any given moment. If your application starts rising new processes on demand, you can take a peek on the number of current running processes by checking this chart here. Network in and network out represent the incoming and outgoing traffic of your app, so you can easily see bottlenecks and trace strategies on how to best serve your users. Total disk usage displays the complete usage of your container, including container images, files, and everything else, while container disk usage displays the running image disk usage only. So there you have it, a new way to easily check your container statistics and usage so you can make it very best use of it. I hope you like this new feature and follow along the series because we have many other new features that I'll be releasing a day, daily video on for this week. So if you like this video, please, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are a subscriber, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave it in the comment section below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.